your host, the strike last word. The strike the last word. I would like to also thank my good friend and colleague, Mr. Ellison, for our efforts on this important issue that will help tens of millions of Americans gain access to affordable credit. Those with little or no credit history are considered high risk and can be rejected when they apply for credit and also pay higher rates for car and homeowners insurance. H.R. 435, the Credit Accuracy and Inclusion Act, amends the Federal Fair Credit Reporting Act, or FCRA, to allow for non-financial service providers such as telephone, cable, wireless, electric, and gas companies, as well as landlords to report their customers on-time payments to credit reporting agencies, or CRAs. By incorporating these on-time payments, call alternative or additional data into credit reports, we can provide and improve credit scores for the vast majority of the more than 50 million people in the United States who do not have sufficient credit history to establish one, enabling families with little or no credit to build credit scores based on a full and more appropriate picture of their payment history. By adding more information to credit files, low and moderate income people can access affordable and responsible financial products and services buy homes and cars, build wealth, while strengthening our entire economy. This truly bipartisan effort could end credit invincibility, invisibility, providing tens of millions of hardworking Americans with more affordable credit and insurance. Could also greatly expand lending, enabling small businesses to expand, increasing household wealth, and generating economic growth. This legislation would allow those Americans with credit and invisibility to establish a credit score or raise their existing score on their own merit and without federal mandates. Mr. Chairman, thank you again for considering our legislation today and I urge all my colleagues to support this bill through committee. Would the gentleman thank yield? You.